First Interstate Bank. That's what trust looks like. As the true freshman trots out onto the field, Brett Smith, 6'3", 195, from Salem, Oregon. Those numbers, though, the biggest of those numbers happened last week, and I think he really proved himself against San Diego State. Field four receivers set for the Cowboys. Wide snap, they go to the inside, catch is made, and it's going to depend on where the Mark Smith getting a snap. Good athleticism, and that ball is off to the right. He's able to come up with it. Not notice that he is wearing the tack. Turnover for TCU in the last two games. Dolly Muhammad in the backfield. Smith with plenty of time, dancing around, looking. Good coverage downfield. Finally gets rid of it and cannot. In the front seven of the Horn Frogs. Stack him up at the bottom of the screen. Three receivers on a first and goal. Fake the fly sweep. Smith comes right out to the inside. Touchdown. Cowboys. Josh Doxson. Second down and three. Five receivers set for Smith. This is a design run up the middle. No one's home. Smith at the 40. Smith at the 50. And the speed of the secondary of TCU will track him down at the 22. Greg McCoy and Jason Barrett. They don't have that speed, TC. It is a touchdown for the Pokes as the true freshman takes it all the way down to the 21-yard line. Well, this is why you have to be what they call gap sound. Take a look at the left defensive tackle. He's going to move, and he's going to create a big gap. Here's going to be some movement, and suddenly there's just an absolute crevasse in the middle. Good job of picking up the blitz, and as a result, there's nobody in center field. And you know that because of the speed of TCU, he's not going the distance, but still a gigantic. He's designate a sober driver. Well, here we were just talking about that there'd be a planned run eventually for Brett Smith. We didn't know it was going to be the very next play, but there he went for 62 yards. Biggest play of Brock out for the season. Quick pass out here to Chris McNeil. McNeil makes the first man miss and does a great job of getting up near the first down. Second down and five. Smith standing tall, pumps it once, looks downfield, now comes back to the other side. Catch is made. Josh Doxson, who already has a touchdown. Thus far, we haven't called those names too often for TCU. Smith now with some confidence goes to the outside, and it's a horse collar is the other side. Second down and short. Smith on design draw up the middle. Not quite the 62 yards he got earlier in the game. Kenny Kane there finally to bring him to the ground, but he crosses over into TC. Oh, they'll mark him down right at midfield. Well, you've got the hubris of the youngster who never did do sliding. You know, he thought, I didn't have to do that. Now he's at this level where you've got some guys that are bigger and faster. Now, twice he's had slides. Remember last week he had that slide where he almost screwed up his ankle. Yeah. You can see right there he grabbed his lower back. A little bit of a wrenching job. Roland Smith out to his left, waiting, waiting, and absolutely gets drilled. Catch is made, Chris McNeil, but what a price Brett Smith, the freshman, just paid. Tank Carter there on the coverage. Once again, they get the matchup they want, Todd, but this freshman quarterback is taking some serious abuse today. Well, here's a situation where you had a number of TCU guys that are looking into the backfield, and you're right, he does <laughs> take a shot. Oh, man, that hurts. But you can see everybody's looking into the backfield, and McNeil is able to make the catch and get out of bounds. Nice job by number 80 of Keith Youngster from Salem, Oregon. Paid a price. Great work by the camera folks down on the field, holding the ground as McNeil is coming right into your front room. More importantly, first and 10 from the 21. Smith out of the gun, empty backfield. Plenty of time across the middle. Has his man, and unable to come up with it is Robert Haran. Johnny fights in the empty backfield out of the gun. Quickly comes up firing, has his man to the outside. That'll be a pickup of about three yards there as number 37 from the 18. Smith looking upfield, has his man, catches made. Touchdown, Pokes. Flag on the play near the goal line. Mazi Agbana, the senior from Westbury, New York, came down with it. We'll have to find out from Daniel Romeo what the call is. Johnny Fox hit him in there. He said, are you kidding me? Smith rolling out, has his receiver open. Catch is made. Trey Norman, another fresh Husky coach. And Gary Pinkle, the head coach at Missouri. Trips to the bottom of the screen on first down. Smith running, has his receiver, and it's Mazi Ogbana. And Ogbana who has a first and 10 from the 39. Smith again slings it underneath, has his receiver. 25 to his penalty yards are the Cowboys. 
There comes Smith on the run and wisely learning how to slide there as he goes down at about the 45-yard line. Small pickup. Well, as soon as he tucks the ball under his elbow, everybody knows that it's not an option route, and that's what he's line, Shaking his head, Ross Forrest on the stop as we take a look at the numbers for young Brett Smith. 17 of 26, 210 yards, and two touchdowns. But as you pointed out, Todd Christensen, he has taken some serious shots today. Well, now with the clock under with the game under 13 minutes remaining, Kierkegaard gets a look, you know, hands the ball off, but he, he's got to hit the ground running. Uh, is not ideal for the Wyoming passing game at this point. Agbana, the only senior on that receiving core, as we question test with him, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to get back in, but they sure would love to have him. The true freshman from Salem, Oregon, has taken his share of shots today in the cold weather, most notably from Tank Carter. 